Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. As we continue our 24 hours, one of the topics we should be dealing with is forgiveness. And with that came to mind uh, something from Scripture. There are 27 books in the New Testament. And uh, the most difficult one I think we all will, will agree is the book of Revelation by John. And in my opinion, the second most difficult in the New Testament is the letter to, uh, to the Romans by St. Paul. It's highly theological, very complex. You have, sometimes you have to read each chapter over and over and over again to get the meaning and maybe even have a helper with you, some kind of uh, Bible helper to help you understand what he's saying. He was a very conflicted man. My favorite verse, part of the letter to the Romans, is the seventh chapter, and I'll read part of it now. Paul was struggling at this point. We know that the law is spiritual, whereas I am weak flesh sold into slavery of sin. I cannot even understand my own actions. I do not do what I want to do, but what I hate. When I act against my own will, by that very fact, I agree that the law is good. This indicates that it is not I who do it, but sin which resides in me. I know that no good dwells in me, that is, in my flesh. The desire to do right is there, but not the power. What happens is that I do not the good I will to do, but the evil I do not intend. But if I do what is against my will, it is not I who do it, but sin which dwells in me. This means that even though I want to do what is right, a law that leads to wrongdoing is always ready at hand. My inner self agrees with the law of God, but I see in my body's members another law at war with the law of my mind. This makes me the prisoner of the law of sin in my members. What a wretched man I am. Who can free me from this body under the power of death? All praise to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So with my mind I serve the law of God, but with my flesh the law of sin. And I think that speaks to the tension in all of us sometimes. We want to do right, but something compels us not to do it, or just the opposite. Paul suffered, from, after his conversion, Paul suffered from some malady. And that leads us to the statement that uh, a thorn in my side. There's no evidence in scripture that he had a thorn in his side, but he suffered from something that never left him for the rest of his life. Uh, he struggled with, and some uh, theologians opine that his struggle was indeed the fact that he persecuted the Christian so badly before his conversion, and that sense of guilt never left him. And so he deals with that in, in this passage here. I think for you and me today, in this this 24-hour period, and one of the things we deal with is forgiveness, but look at forgiving ourselves. If we're sorry for our sins and we've repented and gone to confession and trying to lead a good life, we can't let guilt consume us because guilt is an impediment to following Jesus.